Welcome, weary traveler, to the torch and wand. Have a mug of ale, rest by the fire, and listen to our bard tell a tale of four strangers in a small town in the heart of the desert and the secret they discover in the well. Welcome to this week's edition of The Torch and Wand. Um, we're missing one person, I think. Why don't we just go around and do reintroductions super quick? All right. um, I'm Andrea Salonis, and I'm playing Delmer of Gesh, a dragonborn barbarian. Um, I'm Melinda Shea, and I'm playing Adri. Uh, I can never pronounce the, right, the last name right. It's um, fine. <laughs> I'm playing a drow assassin. Also, I think my mic's really loud. That's how D&D goes. You can never pronounce anything at all. <laughs> no, uh-uh. Um, no, your mic's not loud. You're just, it's like real far away from you. That's why it's loud. What do you mean? Say something. Okay. It's even louder now. I don't know. Sounds decent to me. That's some crisp ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just my head. Like my headset's really loud. Maybe. Anyway, we're gonna rewrite a little bit of last week's story because I realized I sort of went ahead too quickly. I think we stopped. I think where we're gonna restart is when you leave the inn, if that's okay. Yeah. So the well thing never happened. Yikes. No. Um, the well thing did not happen. You can make it okay. happen again if you'd like to. So you go out. You leave the inn. I think life was wanting to talk to the sage, and it is hot. It is scorching. It feels like it's hotter than it was when you came in. It's noon. Um, the sun is sitting right overhead, and there are a lot of people... It seems like there's a lot of people sitting out on porches in the shade. It's hot. So you might be in trouble. Yeah. I mean, I'm wearing my cloak. It's the desert. I was expecting this. It doesn't but make it black. I'm used to it. But it's black. That's not going to help you. <laughs> Look, I, I can't give it up for the aesthetic. Okay, fine. <laughs> the drip. The what? The drip. <laughs> okay. So you leave the inn. There's two buildings like this and one that's over here. Um, life goes right for that little house where the bartender told him the sage was and knocks on the door but there doesn't seem to be anyone there the door is just kind of ajar as if to let some draft in that's not imminent <laughs> what do you two want to do I'm still just following at a distance um, I believe it I am like following right behind the um, guy uh, what was their name? Azra. Azra, yeah, I'm following. Right you back. haven't, he hasn't come in yet. Oh, I thought we just left the inn. No, that's where we're okay, okay. rewriting. Gotcha. Oh, okay, so we're still in the inn. If you want to be. Well, no, I'm confused. The point is he hasn't shown up yet. We're, gotcha. We're rewinding to before he showed up. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Can this also be before my awkward conversation with the dwarf? No. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that has to stay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm agreeing with Melinda on that one. That's got to stay. Okay. Please. <laughs> well, what do you want to do? You have the whole town in front of you, pretty much. In the inn? No, in the town. You went outside. Oh, you followed, oh we went outside. Yeah, you followed life outside, but... Okay, okay, yeah. You've gotcha. got the whole town in front of you, pretty much. All right, yeah. Um... I will... You probably have poked around a fair bit, so... Yeah. You have you have a map. Okay. Um, you do not have a map. I do not have a map, no. And presumably... Are you sure my mic isn't super loud? Because I'm, like, all I can hear. <laughs> I think I it's, think like, a fair so. volume. Yeah. Okay. 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 I don't okay. think it's noticeable if it is louder. Um, but... Presumably, I know about this well issue. If I've been if I've been in the town for a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's more of a spring, actually. There's okay. like, it's like um, a shallow pit, sort of, and then there's a well in the middle of it. Okay. Uh, all right. So the like there's steps down into the pit. So they built the well over the spring, and sometimes when it bubbles up, it'll like overflow into the pit. Okay. Um, I it, sup- sorry, go ahead. Hmm? Oh, no, you can go. I was just going to ask if there's still a problem with the well not producing water. Like, is that part still in it? Okay. Yeah. Um, I suppose I will go over to whoever the leader of this town is. I presume I know that as well. That would be the sage, but life already went to poke around at the sage, like to see if he's home and he's not there. Okay. Um, or they aren't there. Gotcha. I guess I will. There's no leader as such. It's just like yeah, okay. council of elders type. Gotcha. Governing system. All this right. This is a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll just look around for anyone willing to, like, help me with this water situation and try to... What do you mean, help you? Excuse me. Um, you know what? I'll veto that. I don't really know what to do. Um, can you save me, Melinda? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> um, I am deciding to get out of my shell a little bit so I don't seem suspicious since... Currently, I'm just a dark cloaked figure sulking in a corner. It, it stands out in a town of happy cacti. <laughs> are the well, cacti happy? Please tell me they are. <laughs> Some of them are. Depressed cacti. No. No. <laughs> they're, they're, no, they're not depressed. They're just normal people. Okay. So depressed they have, cacti. <laughs> no, they have moods. Gotcha. <laughs> um... What can we do to make them happier? <laughs> Give them water. <laughs> Give them water. <laughs> there you go. Okay. That would be the thing. Okay. Um, that, I don't know, unless you go investigate, I don't know what. I think I'm going to go talk to, to the townspeople to see if any of them know anything about the well. Yeah, and I'll um, follow. Where do you want to start? Oh. Um, I guess just at the inn. At the inn? Or, wait. Like, is are there you another talking about gathering like, spot in the town? Like, is there a central park or like a? Common? There's no, there's no real central anything. There's a couple like little farms in the middle of town, but okay. they're not in the middle of town so much as that's where they happen to be. Are there any like educational centers or places where there might be professionals or scientists mm. or like people who research things? Yeah. No. Yeah, it's, it's like not. A, it's not really a big profession out here. Yeah, it's like a town okay. of like sixty people, you right? Pull your mic closer. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I'm far away too. No, you're fine. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna start. I assume there's a gathering of people around the well. You were saying. Um. Not really. Okay. Okay. Um, there's no relief to be gained from it. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go back into the inn and talk to the innkeeper. Or the bar Bartender. person. Okay. I'll follow suit. Okay. So you you 
go outside and kind of decide to go right back in. Absolutely. It is a very good decision for me. <laughs> <laughs> you go back into the inn. Everyone is still there. Really? I mean, you've only been gone for like two minutes. I glance at the dwarf and she like lock like we make eye Blares contact. Glares at you. Awkward eye contact <laughs> with the dwarf. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to go up to the bartender and ask how long the water, like the well's been dried up. A month. Oh, wow. So where are you guys getting your water from? There isn't any water. Like not even from other towns? I mean, that's a whole month. (laughs) We're cacti. I feel you like think even we can't ca- handle it. <laughs> I'm not insulting your species. <laughs> they they raise an eyebrow or the equivalent of an eyebrow. Um, I have a question for you. Sure. When your people drink ale, how long are you drunk for? <laughs> you hold it in, so a week. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine being drunk for an entire week off of, like, one cup of ale? (laughs) We don't get drunk for a week. It's like... I don't know anything about normal human metabolism, but I guess it's, like, normal human metabolism. Okay. Gotcha. Day Uh, or two. Oh. I just absolutely... struck my mic. (laughs) Um... All right, that's all I had to ask. Okay. Um, they, they make a confused face at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, why are you asking me this kind of face? Clearly the bartender is not up for much conversation. Um, is there anyone else in the tavern except for those dwarves? Yeah, remember there were like the the drite that were kind of whispering in the corner. Okay. Um I'm going to go up to the the drite that are whispering in the corner. Okay. And introduce myself under a fake name because I still don't want anyone to recognize me here. And they're whispering, so they I don't know what they're up to. <laughs> okay. Um, so I walk up to them and introduce myself as, you know, fake name. Um, <laughs> well, what's your fake name? Don't keep us in suspense. Um... Mm-mm. I am the Miss Drow person. <laughs> First name Drow, last name person. Um, <laughs> what would that be? Deception? Yeah. Roll, roll for deception. All right. Am I ro- rolling a d20 or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A four. <laughs> <laughs> They see right through your bruise. <laughs> no, no, man. I was um, just trying to get a laugh. M- my name's um, Adri. <laughs> okay. One of them says. They they all kind of, when you approach, they all kind of like retreat from their huddle and look up at you. <laughs> um, so they're all looking at you. So. There's ooh. like three of them. <laughs> All looking at you. So, any of you guys know anything about the well? (laughs) They sort of glance among themselves. Rumor has it, it's magic. Oh. Was Was it always magic? One of them nods eagerly. There was some guy that came in to town from Liara, said he was the Count. He wanted, what, a third? Some one other of them nods. Yeah, he wanted a third of our cactus crop if in return for saving us from something. And um, one of the other ones cuts them off. Naturally, Saguaro refused. So the count stopped up the well. Really? Do I overhear this? I think you're still awkwardly talking with the bartender. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My passive perception is like nine, so probably not. <laughs> um, 
So do you, does anyone know what it was topped up with? We weren't here for it. You could ask Saguaro, he would know. Do you know where Saguaro might be? Because we can't find him. They all look at each other again. We're here to help. We're mm-hmm. trying to help. <laughs> no, it's it's like looks that are unsure, like, uh, you know, mm-hmm. the uh kind of face. Mm-hmm. Um, he went out like an hour ago. Do you know which way he went? Out of town. Oh. Um, Does he one, do that often? One of them cuts in and he's like, I know where he went. He went towards the magician's house. Okay. Um, could you tell the us where that is? The other two look stunned. The magician's coming back? Oh, thank God. Maybe he can maybe he can unstop the well for us. Who's the magician? They look at you like you don't know the magician. I, I've been around. I've known a couple of magicians. <laughs> You're going to want to be more specific. <laughs> they They sort of look at you and bend in close like who is this person that doesn't know the magician kind of whispers <laughs> the you, same person who tried to introduce themselves as a drow person <laughs> <laughs> you get the sense they're not going to be much further help <laughs> well thank you for um, your help so far uh, I'm just going to go over here <laughs> <laughs> one of them looks up at you and nods <laughs> um, so what did you get out of the uh, drite? So it looks like someone came into the town a while ago claiming to be the Count and stopped up their well because they wouldn't give him a third of their crop. Um, Delmarev immediately raises an eyebrow at this. How long ago is a while ago? Like a month. Okay, I might be fudging the times here <laughs> because he, know, he knows about like this backgroundy stuff from the city so I might be fudging the time a little bit here because it wouldn't be realistic to have the full time like they would all be the town would be no longer if I had the real time basically Okay. so it's fudged gotcha so I wouldn't be suspicious um I'd say you'd still be suspicious okay Um, well, I'll keep quiet about that for now, um, because I'm just a little suspicious of this. Um, so I'm going to suggest to Adri, um, maybe we should start looking elsewhere for some information about this well. You're, you have a map, um, what is, what else is there in this town? Um, mostly farms. There is a, obviously, the well. Perhaps we could investigate um, the issue itself. Well, it sounded like there's someone There's coming. also some shops, but I'm not oh, sure the shops. shopkeepers would know much. Okay. Well, there might be people in the shops. It's kind of the only other place that there might be people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. We could also stop at the farms. That's a good idea. Where's the nearest farm? Um... Mm-hmm. Well, the closest, the closest one is actually like a guide slash navigator. It's not a farm, but all the farms are like. Here, I'll I'll show you. Um, where's the inn? Gotcha. Um, I don't know. We'll go. We'll just. They should be located to the south. The well is here. The well is um, to the south east. Um, but the farms, if you're looking for those, those will be directly to the south of us. Okay. Um, let's stop at a farm and talk to the people. That sounds like it a good idea. It sounded like the count had specifically asked about the crops, so these might be good people to go talk to. And just in case you're wondering, they are not committing cannibalism by having a cactus crop. Yes, they are. No, they're not. They definitely are. I don't know. Because, like, presumably these cacti have muscles. 
Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if my point exactly got across with that no. sentence. <laughs> I think I get what you're saying. Presumably they have more human physiology than yeah. a regular cactus They're, they're like cactus a different would. species. Even if it's not ca- cannibalism, it would still be weird. That's like us eating monkeys or apes. Uh, Too um, close in species. It's just weird. <laughs> no. Help me out here. <laughs> You're making um, a face like you you get it, sort I of. I feel like it would be best if we don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. We're all in agreement here. Okay. Look, you're the one that brought up the cannibalism. I knew someone was going to bring it up eventually. <laughs> so I tried to head it off at the pass, but That's, it didn't work. No, you kind of... that. You kind of asked for that one. <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> so you said you were going to go to one of the farms? Yeah. Okay. Um, you can choose which farm to go to since you have the map. Probably just the um, first one we come across. Okay. Okay, hang on. I'm actually going to come around the table here. This is a bakery, and then they have, like, their own little okay. field. Um, or this person is just, they just have livestock, and that's right. their, like, grazing field. 31. These people are just regular farmers. Okay. 22. This is a potter. Yeah. Um, I'm just getting some background on some locations in the town. We can still hear. Can we? Yeah, it's picking oh. up her voice on the microphone. Okay. Okay. But you don't know where on the map I'm talking about, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's the secret. Am I not allowed to see his map? <laughs> you don't know the map. You just, yeah. You just came into town. You wouldn't You wouldn't have a mental map. This is yeah, my thing, Yeah, but I'm not Melinda. allowed to see his map. <laughs> This is mine. (laughs) This is a dairy. Okay. Um, Do you say that they have a dairy? This is a brewery. Okay. Yes, there is a dairy. A dairy? Um, Is that like a... This is... This is like a hide cleaners and this is a butcher. Wait, wait, just a... Is dairy, like, a location now? I don't understand. What if these cacti are lactose intolerant? Wait. I thought dairy was, like, only, like, a describing word for, like, <laughs> foods. Like, milk is dairy. Is that... No, it's, like, a place where they milk oh the cows. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. It's, like, where they milk the cows and make cheese and cream and stuff like that milk products gotcha yeah. all right i'm not big on livestock or dairy farming also known as an industrial factory because this is america <laughs> says the vegan yep <laughs> <laughs> moving on <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, what do you think? I think um, Delmarev is going to guide the two-person party to uh, 30 or 31, one of the farmers, just with regular crops. Okay. So that's like halfway across town, but it's a small town. All right. There's two little houses that look like they share one good size field. Okay. So should and we split up and each take a house? That's a good idea. There are some crops in this field, but as you'd expect, they're not doing too well. Mm-hmm. So I'll take the house on the right and you can take the house on the left? Um, first, I want to ask you if you have any background in plants. or I'm basically out of character asking you if you have any like oh, nature me? skill. Um, yes. 
Um, like, do you have proficiency yeah, in that, nature or I'm... survival oh, or anything like that? Okay, you said out of character, so I thought you meant me personally. Oh like, no, like, yes. um, like, <laughs> like asking what's on your character. Sheet. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't see anything about that. Do you have? Okay. I I think you said you had proficiency in survival. Nope. No. Um, okay. Yeah, I have I proficiency either. in perception, persuasion, stealth, athletics. Okay, so that's a hard no. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do have like fey ancestry and like, I don't know if that I don't know if they were. And that doesn't apply. Okay. I meant to bring you the packets that told you what those things were, but they weren't ready in time. That's okay. Yeah, okay. that's fine. But yeah, um, basically no. <laughs> the short answer is no. What about you? Um, I don't have any proficiency, but I mean, I could still try. Yeah, you could still try just because you don't have proficiency. Proficiency just means you get a bonus, so you're oh, okay. good at it, but you can still try. What What was your idea here? Um, I was thinking we might want to investigate um, the plants themselves after talking to the uh, farmers. Sorry, my headphone was like, the connection was really weird. That's why it sounded weird for me, but gotcha. I think I fixed it. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. That's fine. Um, you're going to want to repeat that because I moved my foot. My head said, you know, went it off. Yeah. So I need yeah. to fix it. What was your idea again? Um, after we talked to the farmers, I'm thinking we could probably just go investigate the plants. The or plants themselves? Or yeah. Themselves? Or you could do it before because they are on the opposite side of the field from where you're coming Oh, up. okay. I mean, do we feel like getting like caught in someone else's garden just See, looking at I'll plants? I'll be fine because I have stealth. <laughs> <laughs> you're also dressed in black. I almost said a swear word on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> you're also dressed in black, so if you do make a stealth check, you're going to have major disadvantage there. I'll just pretend to be a scarecrow. I mean, uh -uh. it would be funny. <laughs> it would be really funny. So I feel like we should just go into those plants. I'll just... Per okay, okay. I also have persuasion, so if they catch me, I'll just tell them that I'm the plant inspector. And that you're the drow person. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am drow person, the plant inspector. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's go investigate those plants. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you cross the town and come upon this good-sized field. The plants don't look too good. Um, make two rolls for, one for nature and one for survival. All right. Um, both of us? Yes. Okay. On a d20 or? Yes. Or could we do like one a help one. action with and get advantage we on one roll? Like, or actually, I guess it wasn't. It wouldn't matter because it's two rolls anyways. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Um, I can give you an extra die if you want. You look like you're all set. Yeah, I need an oh, extra yeah. one for that. Um, I will. I will make my nature roll right now. Getting a fifteen. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. I also got a 15 for nature. <laughs> nice. Um, survival roll now. Uh, um, 10. Mm. Not great. 13. Okay. okay. So between you, you can identify a good bit of the plants. There's, it's just like regular garden fair. It seems there's some, there's cabbages Stuff that looks like it's underground, like root vegetables. Okay. Um, and, you know, I I can't think of what kind of plant to use here, but there's those ones that are, like, spread out, and they grow on vines, and the vines just, like, go everywhere. Beans? No, not not, not beans. Um, sure, beans. <laughs> and Pe then there's... Is it peas? No, those don't have vines. Perhaps grapes. Grapes grow vertical. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, they can grow in any direction. But, yeah, yeah usually they're vertical because there's more space. Yeah. Okay. We'll call it beans. 
Okay. There's beans and cabbages and root vegetables, and then there's also some weird looking things that neither of you can identify. Okay. But I, suffice to say, none of the plants look good. I dare you to eat one. Um one of <laughs> one of what? The weird plants. <laughs> <laughs> I will eat one if you eat one. <laughs> okay. So um, should we should we do a roll for like I think we just pick up the plant and eat it. Well, I feel like we should do a roll to determine whether or not we're poisoned by it. <laughs> um, That's up to the GM. No, <laughs> no. They look weird, but even with your limited knowledge, they don't look poisonous. Oh. Unfortunately, if you were to pick one up and eat it, it's a pretty big plant. They're like, oh. they're like acorn squash size. Um, should we buy them? <laughs> Um, I I shove one into my bag. Huh. Okay. Um, <laughs> make a stealth check <laughs> with disadvantage, please. So that means you roll it twice and you use the lower Wait, one. Wait, why with disadvantage? Because you're wearing all black. But I have stealth. But Wait, you stand out like a, <laughs> you stand out like a sore thumb. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Six. And seven. <laughs> <laughs> How badly am I caught? <laughs> yes. <laughs> plant inspector, plant inspector. <laughs> Taking this back to the lab, guys. <laughs> you, as, you as get you, a B. <laughs> As you try and stuff this acorn squash-shaped thing in your bag, um, make a... No. Her. Okay. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not sure what skill it would fall under uh, for, like, avoiding something. Or would uh, it just be general dexterity? Dexterity saving throw, I believe. I have okay. pretty high dexterity. Okay. Uh, dexterity saving throw. Mm, what does that mean? Just throw one and... Yes. Throws the dice across the room. 15, and I have... Yeah. Does Do I do anything with mine? No. Okay. At least I don't think so. I haven't had to use saves much. Saves are, like, how you react to things, I oh, think. okay. And, like, your reaction to, like, an arrow. Uh, okay, like so you're fine. By you. Um... You step to the, um, you manage to avoid these vines that are like creeping out, trying to grab you. <laughs> and as you're trying to shove this acorn squash size thing in your bag, one of the, you hear a shout from one of the houses and someone comes running out, waving something like a shovel. A, pan. a shovel. Like oh. a pitchfork. We'll, we'll call it a shovel. Okay. You darn kids. <laughs> Get out of my field. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> sure. Um, would it be persuasion or deception? Um, I think if you're like... I have both, so... Like, I, I have proficiencies in both. Oh, okay. If you're like trying to convince some like if you're trying to lie to somebody and have them believe it that's deception i'm pretty sure mm. but if you're like trying to say like in good faith like wait someone to do something if you're if you're trying to like get a merchant to deception and they're both charisma roles aren't they yeah they're both charisma okay. roles i also have very high charisma um, deception is like lying, whereas persuasion is not. That's usually how I persuasion's do it. convincing. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We'll work off that. Um, deception check, and then you add your proficiency bonus to it because you're good at deception. Right? No, I'm good at perception and persuasion. Okay. So scratch that. Add two. <laughs> A one. <laughs> Wait, natural one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. 
Oh, crap. <laughs> Me and Andrew were just here cringing, and Melinda has no idea what a natural one means. No, I do know what that means. <laughs> That's like epic fail. Yep. Okay. Um, as they come up to you and you're trying to stuff this thing <laughs> into your bag, you just kind of blurt out the real reason the two of you are there all in a rush instead of trying to lie to them about why you're taking this vegetable. <laughs> You've got an F grade now. From the, <laughs> the plant inspector. <laughs> <laughs> they they stop looking at you so suspiciously and lower the shovel and they're just like, oh, why didn't you say so? Um, because we didn't think you'd be cool with that. <laughs> what made you think that? We're new in town. People don't seem to like us so much yet. Well, I've seen you around, but you I haven't seen. Yeah, I I just got here. Yeah. I see. Um, we were looking for more information about um, the water situation. Well, you could go poke around the well. I think, I hope Saguaro's coming back soon. I heard he went to visit the magician's house. Yeah. So maybe the magician will come with him. Well, we wanted to stop here because we heard that someone had come to town a while ago asking to have a third of the crops. So we figured we should talk to the farmers who might know something about that. We wouldn't know anything. Saguaro negotiated on our behalf. Okay. Basically. All right. Um, I feel like our best course of action at, the, at this point would be to just go to the well mm -hmm. and investigate. Wait for them to get back to. Yeah. Okay. So we go back to the well and thank okay. him. Thank him for his information. Wait, do you get the to keep the plant? Goodbye. Do I get to keep the plant? No. Wait, you can we not. buy it? Dang it. I'm not spending money on those things. I, I mean, am. I mean, you could, you could if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, how much for one acorn squash? Mm. Can we ask him what they are? Sure. So what are these? They're called grasp gourds. Are they edible? Oh, that's why they tried to grasp you with the vines. Ah... Uh... I get it now. They're magic. Wow. Saguaro asked me to grow them specifically. He sort of puffs his chest up and looks proud of himself. <laughs> well, you've done a great job. Thank you. Oh, are these for um, him specifically? I don't know. He just asked me to grow them. Hmm. Did he tell you where to put them when they were grown or just to leave them in the ground? Um... Well, he told me what they look like when they're ripe, so I'd know when to pick them. Are they ripe? That one is. Okay. Um, can I purchase it? Sure. All right. How much for one? Uh, let's make it a couple of coppers. All right. Um, five copper? Sure. Yeah, okay. I'll buy one of them. I feel like they might be useful if Saguaro asked him to uh, grow them mm -hmm. specifically. I feel like the vines were the useful part, though. <laughs> Maybe. We just need to try to chuck one at a, like a monster or something. <laughs> See what happens. See if they blow up or something. <laughs> um, so. so let's go back to the well now. Okay. So are, is anyone there when we go over the well? Um, there's a couple of people looking on. There's, there's a few houses near here. There's no one really hanging out at the well. Like I said before, it's kind of a shallow pit, and there's steps down into the pit, and then in the middle of the pit is the well. Okay. Um, no one's really going near the well since they know it won't help them. Okay. All right. If there's no water, then there's no relief from the heat. Yeah. So they're all kind of just hiding inside. No, they're they're like out in the shade. 
still being productive. <laughs> I guess. Um, roll for perception. You too. What's my perception skill? You're, you're proficient in it, right? So add two. To my two? Yes. So I have four. <laughs> I get a six. No proficiency bonus. No, I got a negative one. Ooh. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Wait, you have a negative in perception? Yeah, because my wisdom score is nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, once it drops below ten, you start getting into negative number modifiers. Okay. That's how that works. Okay, the only negative number modifier I have is intelligence, so. Okay. I don't know what that applies to. Is it a zero or a negative number? Because there is a difference. Oh. Um, there's a negative one modifier. Okay. On intelligence. I don't know what that applies to. Want to go in the pit? (laughs) I want to go in the pit. Um, I'll watch you go in the pit. I'll go in the pit. <laughs> you go in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the pit? The well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are there stairs going down the well? Not down the well, but down oh, into the okay, pit. okay, down into the pit? And there's like right, a few stairs. Sick, all right. Should you do a roll on if you fall into it? <laughs> no. Um, no. You don't have to do that. I'm going to try to look down that well. Okay. Mm, you don't have dark vision, do you? I do. don't believe so. Hey, come into the pit. Roll I need you to look down this well. For, I mean, you can look down the well if you want. I don't think I could see, though. Roll for perception. I think that's the right one. Yeah. Perception. Um, Ten. That's with a minus? Yes. Okay. Excuse me. Um, The ground is cracked and dry around the well. You look down the well, you see nothing, but you do hear some sort of faint off-putting noise. You you can't exactly pinpoint what it is, but it's strange. Hmm. I'll light a torch and um, drop it down the well. Okay. Do you have a torch? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You light a torch and drop it down the well. Um, there's there's more of a there's more noise when you drop it, and then there's like this this sort of um, how shall I put it like a agitated noise. Hmm. Okay. And it hits bottom a lot sooner than you would think. Oh, so it's a really shallow well. No, no, no. It's not It's not shallow, but since there's a spring underneath, you would expect it to not hit bottom until it goes all the way down, mm-hmm. right? But it hits bottom somewhere. Hmm. It's like there's something blocking it. Yeah. Okay. Um, And you can see by the light of the torch that there's something red down there there's something like glowing red and then it just goes out okay you can't tell if like it burned all the way down or if it it, just got snuffed yeah or something else okay weirder they ate it (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. um adri Mm mm-hmm um, can you come look down this well and tell me what you see? Say please. Please. Say please again. Please. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> um, I look down the well with my dark vision. You I'm don't... sorry, my superior dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish I was so superior. <laughs> you see a lot of small moving shapes like overlapping each other like they're moving on top of each other and you hear this sort of 
really awful and strange chittering scrambling noise. Okay. So that's weird. You don't see any color because dark vision I don't think has color. Mhm. Yeah, it's just shades of yeah. gray. Yeah. That's but right. you you do see you can tell that there's like less shades and then more shades and some of the shades are shifting like something is moving like things are moving over each other. Okay. Well, that's weird. There's um a lot of tiny things. A lot of tiny moving things that are kind of on top of each other. You can just see, you can just see one layer, Mm -hmm. but it seems to you like there's more layers underneath that, that you can't see. Like an onion. (laughs) Sure. (laughs) Sure. It's, it's a good ways down. It's not, it's not like, like this is the top of the well Mm -hmm. and it's here. It's like, a good way down. Okay. Okay. Um, so I think we should just wait for Saguaro to come back at this point. That might be a good idea. Yeah, you don't you don't know what to do with this. There's not much more we can do. Yeah. Is there more we can do? <laughs> um probably not. Unless you wanted to try and poke it with something. Wait, wait, I, wait. What do I have? What do I have? <laughs> I'm not sure what good that would do. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't have anything to throw down there. There is a, there is a bucket. Oh, the there's well. a bucket? Yeah. Is it attached to a string still? Yes. Okay. Because the well is like when the spring overflows, mm-hmm. it overflows the well into the pit. Okay. But otherwise, it's just like a normal well. So I drop the bucket down there and see if I can scoop up whatever's in there. Okay. Um, you drop... Like to get a closer look at what they you are. You drop the bucket down and you hear a swell of that chittering noise. Mm-hmm. Like... And if you look down the well when you drop the bucket, you can see that the shapes are kind of going like this. Yeah. To avoid the bucket. Oh, okay. Hmm. Do I pick up water underneath them? Because clearly they get out of the way. No. Okay. It hits something. Okay. You can't tell what it hits, but it hits something. What kind of noise was it? Was it like a squish or like a like a bonk? Or like a <laughs> <laughs> Was it a bonk or a squish? <laughs> <laughs> it's relevant. <laughs> Stop yes. making fun of me. <laughs> um, there wasn't really a noise. It just kind of. It was like a tap. Okay. All right. Maybe they need. Maybe they need need some food. And I dangle the uh, grass corn. I mean, that's a that's a big thing. You're holding it like this. <laughs> um, I'm a big guy. <laughs> what do you want to do with it? Um, I want to put it in the bucket and try to, like, lower it down again. Okay. Does it catch anything? The bucket? Yeah, it's got food in it this time. You put the grass corn in the bucket and you lower the bucket... And the noise doesn't really change, it seems to you. Um, But when you look down after it, the shapes are like cascading into the bucket and then receding. And when you pull the bucket up, the grass gourd has gone black. Like it's whole, but it looks like it's been infested or something. You poke it and it like just falls apart. Like it was rotted or? Yeah. Oh. That is disturbing. And it has the worst smell ever. I'm out of (laughs) here. I like tip the bucket over (laughs) and it falls back into the well. Probably the right choice because no one's going to be able to eat that thing. Yeah. (laughs) 
That's interesting. And um, how long did it take? Not long. I mean, with the amount of shapes you saw in there. There were a lot of them. Yeah, it wouldn't have taken that long. It would have just been like swarmed. Okay. Is what you saw. Literally just swarmed. Mm -hmm. Just like. So, it sounds like this is some sort of insect That's infestation. I, It sort of looks like it. Whatever it is, it's a lot of tiny things. Yeah. We don't know that they're insects. Like, did, yeah, wait, no, did, did you say, like, insect noises or just chittering? Chittering. Okay. So but chittering could be an insect noise. Chittering could be an insect noise, that's true. Well, while that's you like, chew I think that's on like that. ex- exclusively the insect noise. That's like the choice insect noise. Well, while you chew on that, we're going to take a break and okay. read a public service announcement, and we'll be right back. The Environmental League of Fitchburg's weekly challenge is to carefully consider what you put in the recycling bin. Recycling centers are under very strict guidelines and can have entire loads of recycled material rejected if it contains more than half a percent of regular trash. Help out by making sure to recycle a container only if it's clean of food, wax, and grease. If you aren't sure if it can be recycled, check with your local waste management for instructions. This message brought to you by the Environmental League of Fitchburg. So what do you think of this weird well situation that's going on? Um, I'm feeling like I want to, like, I don't know. Stay far, far away from it. Stay far, (laughs) far away from it. Um. What about you? I'm kind of wondering if anybody's noticed anything crawling out of the well. Like, have they stayed down there the whole time? You can ask. We've tried talking to people already and they didn't give us much. So should we wait for Saguaro? Should we go back into the tavern? What do you think? Um, well, something just occurred to me. I feel like, um, just to point out, these are like plant people, and like we just watched what it did to a plant, so this is like particularly dangerous for the villagers of this town. That's fair. Um, Even but, I didn't think about that. Good catch. Um... So yeah, I feel How like do we know that um plants are the only thing that it does this to? Yeah, um hmm. The answer is you don't. So yeah. should we see if there's what else? I mean, do you have anything in your bag that we could I'm trying to look through what I have, but I don't really have much I can throw down there. Um, well, while you're debating this and just sort of sitting around in the pit wondering what to do, there's a small commotion near one of the farms you passed and as you look up to it it's this old like shriveled like old looking not like dried up yeah this sort of old shriveled very wise looking sage plant we agreed that he's not a (laughs) sage plant last time so no he's a sage plant no. Besides, well, sage would die much faster than cacti without water. He is a sage plant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good pun. And with this old sort of elder looking cactus, you figure this must be saguaro, is... Um, is he the only old plant in the village? Why would we just assume that? That's awful. He is the oldest plant. So he is the most shriveled looking. But we still haven't seen all of them. Okay, fine. (laughs) Fine. I'll take that back. Um, You see this old shriveled looking 
cactus. And I say, hey, I think that's saguaro. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> With him is this figure that's about your height. And he's wearing this sort of loose white shirt and a pink scarf with tassels and very flamboyant looking dark pants with boots and he's bizarrely very tan but has very white fluffy hair you're getting sort of an elven vibe off of him but you can't say anything for sure but he's got the so he's got the dark skin and the white hair Mm -hmm. so do i think that tan not dark okay never mind yeah just weirdly tan okay it's like the tan and the white hair kind of clash it seems okay so this person and saguaro come up to the well and saguaro kind of stops at the pit there's sort of a little crowd gathering behind him despite the heat and they're whispering among themselves. And this person descends into the pit and sort of looks at you, realizes you're there, and he's like, oh, hello, have you come to investigate as well? Yeah, we um, we were just looking down there. I was, I saw a bunch of tiny, very tiny creatures or something, but there's so many of them that there are there are thousands of them down there. We tried mm. to feed them a plant. Hmm. He makes a face. Did you feed them one of Did you feed them one of brilliant grasp gourds? Um Yes, actually. Mm. It turned all black and shriveled up yeah. and fell apart as if it was rotting. Well, with what's down there, I would expect that. Well, what's down there? He doesn't answer you. He um, kneels on the ground and puts his hands on... He puts his hands on the earth that you notice on the ground that you noticed was so cracked and dry before. Mm-hmm. And he motions for you to, to feel it. All right. I'll put my hand down on the ground. You feel this, like, like weird vibrating, like something is trying to get out. So it's actually, like, extending under the ground, too. It's not just in the well. Yeah. How far out does that go? Do we... Um, so I'm asking him, is this everywhere or just around the well? As you finish speaking, this sort of, uh, it's like shaped like a water spout, but it's not water. It's just like this, oh gosh, I don't know how to describe this. Like a fountain almost under pressure, like. um, Like a geyser? Geyser, thank you. The word was escaping me. It's like this geyser that shines red in the sunlight and the heat and it just goes for like it feels like forever like a completely unrealistic amount of time for this thing to keep going do we collect any of what it's what's coming out of it a couple of them do drop but um you can try and pick one up if you'd like yeah i i pick one up and the, observe it. The person that's like making this happen is immediately like, "No, don't touch them." Okay. Why? You saw what it did to the grass gourd, right? Okay. And the geyser finally ends and just whatever they were just disperse and immediately water starts coming up from the well and just overflowing into the pit like it's been blocked up there like normal water like normal okay. water you're getting like the pit is filling you're getting soaked up to the shins hmm. 
and the townspeople the the townspeople that were in this weird little procession just sort of immediately swarm into the pit like they're ecstatic the water is back should we be worried that those things are going to come back i'd assume so are you asking this in character or in character yeah I don't think so. I hope not. Um, perhaps we should um, find out where this issue came from. Perhaps it's more of a symptom than the root co- the root problem. So I heard that there was a magical being that came into town and did this. Do you know who that might be? They said he called himself the Count. This this shadow sort of. His his face kind of goes from happy to like, oh, mm-hmm. if you if you know what I mean. So did you not know that was the person that caused this? It couldn't have been the count. The count died three years ago. The drite in the tavern told us that it was he called himself the count. He came from out of town and demanded a third of their crops to protect them from something. And then when he left, this happened when they refused. That sounds like Lucio, all right, but it couldn't have been. And then he gets an even more preoccupied and worried look on his face and you can't get any more answers out of him. He's just, like, muttering to himself. Lucio, let's go talk to Saguaro about that. That sounds like a good idea. Now that we have a name. Mm Mm-hmm. Did I say the name right, Saguaro? Okay. Yes. (laughs) What did I say last time? Like I don't know. Did Jorno? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna end there for the week, I think. <laughs> and on Di Giorno. <laughs> <laughs> and on another part of the mystery has been uncovered. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this week's episode of The Torch and Wand. We'll be back next week at the same time. And thank you for listening to 91.3 WXPL. Keep listening for more music from the station and the Rhythm Lounge at noon with Joel.